Baby, if you wanted to touch my body, you should have voted for it. TV. <laughs> Do it. Do it. Really? Yes. Yeah. Fuck that Can TV and it? fuck that asshole. Do it. I'll buy it. Bitch, are we fucking are we serious right now? Are we serious? Fuck the sad music montage, bitch. What in the fuck? I'm mad as hell. What the fuck is going on? Y'all sitting here crying. I'm crying too. I'm mad. What did y'all do? Six years. Six fucking years. It took us six fucking years to get a citizenship. I know people. <laughs> I know some people need more time. I know some people don't even don't ever get their citizenship. But we worked so hard for it. She worked so hard for it. I was just a kid. She, we came here because she wanted a better life for us. She wanted a better education for us. She wanted for us to have a better future. And now. Now this is all going to be taken away because of him. Because of that stupid. Stupid. Oh my god. Stupid fucking. Felon. He's a felon. He's a felon. He's a felon. I don't want him here anymore. I can't. I can't. I'm not coming back. I'm never coming back here until he leaves the house. He, he's ruining my life, her life, and the lives of every single immigrant in this country. If you're a conservative woman, here's how I'm going to fix your life, okay? So you just got married to your husband. Your husband is blatant, just redneck garbage. You like him, though, for some reason. Something there is clicking. I'm going to seduce your husband. I'm going to seduce your husband. I'm going to look him in the eye and I'm going to explain to him that nobody has ever made me feel the way he has. And I'm younger than you conservative woman that married him. And I'm going to start like explaining that I'm just so fun and I like doing fun shit because you're probably married and you can't do fun shit. And then once I do that and I implement your fucking marriage arc, he's going to cause some irrational feelings, which is going to establish itself in your marriage problems and then you're gonna be like why am i doing this shit for a man this is where we get you get you get you get you get you get you because then you're like why am i supporting a guy that isn't doing anything for me there you go all i'm saying right now is that someone in the white house would better take their shot right now and better not fucking miss my doors are open for you if you need a safe house i am so confused right now the amount of girls that are coming up on my for you page talking about <gasps> Trump has been elected president. Oh my gosh. We don't have any rights anymore. My grandma has more rights than I do. What the heck are you talking about? What? I can buy a car. I can buy a home. I can go to school. I can get a job. I can do everything a man can do. I can vote. I can vote. I have the freedom to go onto this wonderful app and speak whatever I feel like. That's my car telling me I need an oil change. Anyways, what rights am I losing? And if the only rights we're talking about are allowing men to come into the bathroom with me and play in women's sports and the right to kill an unborn child, I'm sorry, you're crazy and kind of demonic, so. If you needed a reason to unfollow me, there it is. I think the only way to argue with maggots now is to not. Silence. They refuse to educate themselves, so I refuse to fucking talk to them. I review. I, they don't exist. Mm. Silence. But in the next election, can we just publicize who people voted for? Because I'm sorry, but if you're going to vote for a felon, racist, misogynistic, idiot cheeto of a man and own that like you should have to own that decision and that should be public knowledge and your future employers should know and your future anyone you encounter should be able to look that up because who the f are these 73 million people that did this i i would love to know i don't know how to explain to trumpies that they are so obsessed with trump because they have mommy and daddy issues i don't know how to tell them that because they don't even realize they have mommy and daddy issues
that's where it starts. Because you want to be the golden child so bad. You want to go tell your parents, I voted for Trump. I voted for Trump. That's why it's an obsession. You're obsessed with him, baby, because you have mommy and daddy issues. That's why you don't have any healthy relationships in your life because you don't even have a healthy relationship with yourself. Mm-hmm. And, and finally, we talk a lot about these different demographics and these assumptions of where they're going to go. Latinos in Texas, a, dis a district that's 97% Latino, went 75 percentage points for Donald Trump. Why? Misogyny. It's on the, no, that's it's why. on the border. It's the misogyny. border crisis is on their doorstep. So, so, and they were begging people to care about it for years. We need to take sexism. some lessons. That's what that was. The lessons are not Knock, misogyny. knock. Who's <laughs> there? Oh, my gosh. It's Whoopi. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Donald Trump is not my president. He is not my president. He will never be my president. I will never call him president. He will never, that will never come out of my mouth out of respect. If I do, it'll be out of sarcasm, making a joke, calling him something else. There is a highly trained professional assassin out there right now. And you have one job. Chop, chop, bitch. All of you men, and yes, it's primarily men, who have been commenting on my election posts and my Kamala posts are really just embarrassing yourself and proving my point further that Kamala was a far better candidate than Trump. And Trump shouldn't actually have been allowed to be in the election. He should have been in a white padded room a long time ago, along with the rest of you who decided to vote for him. Um, also, your God or your Jesus doesn't fucking love you the way that you think they do. No, it's okay. You can laugh over my liberal tears if you want to. How many family members and friends and loved ones have you lost because of your hate that you were spewing in my comments? There is very real concern. I am disabled. I have reproductive health issues. You laugh because you feel like it doesn't affect you, but then you look around you and you realize your circle's gotten smaller. You said you didn't want woke. You didn't want woke? Yeah. Well, that woke is my life. You don't know my life. Good luck. Good luck. Watch the people around you dwindle. Okay, so since Trump won the election, we're cooked, yup. Um, I'm gonna be leaving the US and I'm gonna be moving to Hawaii. So we'll see how it goes. And I'll update you guys. No, sorry, I just woke up this morning fucking evil. How's that? I'm me, I'm just fucking evil now. Like this morning I woke up and my head spun around in circles and black sludge poured out of my throat like the exorcist because I'm a fucking evil bitch now. That's what it is. <laughs> Knowing that I woke up, <laughs> bitch is not about a fucking book. Fuck that shit right now. <laughs> Knowing that I went to bed. Yeah. That, <laughs> that fucking man was ahead a little bit. <laughs> but waking up. <laughs> To this man, literally, you're, you're four points a fucking way. Not only shows me how racist, which, hello, wake up, you black, you're aware of that. It not only shows me how racist this country is, misogynistic, y'all. We're at the point where I'm convinced. Y'all do not want to get here. Y'all had y'all glory fucking days in the back. Y'all hate to see a black, a Latino, anybody that's an LGBTQ plus, a woman being happy doing shit on her fucking own. Because to wake up and seeing it being that close, and I'm seeing comments where people are like, I'm in another country. I don't know how this is happening. Wake up! This is fucking America, and this is sad, and every fucking body... Any person that I still follow that has voted for him, I'm not even going to say what my thoughts is, but trust I will be acting on my thoughts. And I know this, I might lose some brand deals for what I'm about to say, <laughs> but every black person that I've ever seen that said I'm for Trump in this current state, every Latino Every non-white male, let's keep it what it is. I pray to God. I know deep down that's why I'm crying. The repercussions with Trump, if he gets elected, is going to be crazy for all minorities and anybody that's not 
matching or ever seen the dollar amount that he's ever seen in his life. But I pray to God for anyone that voted in his, in his this election, that's a minority that doesn't even have the same uh, mindset as Trump. Whatever the fuck that might mean. I pray to God these repercussions hit y'all not only first, but harder. Because now, because then you will finally see what the fuck that half America has been talking about this the whole election. He's never had y'all in y'all's best interest. And you will see, you will see that if he gets elected these next four years, every black, every minority, again, everyone that is not looking like him. I mean, at this point, if you're not old like him, period. Hey, Trump supporters, y'all got Kid Rock and Amber Rose. We got Beyonce, Kelly Rowland, and Eminem. We are not worried. <laughs> we are not the same, baby. <laughs> Today is election day, and since Trump supporters are so proudly calling themselves garbage after Biden called them garbage, I got your outfit for the polls today. <laughs> Trump supporters have been asking me all day in some gotcha why I'm not laughing anymore. What's funny? What's funny about women dying because you elected a candidate who doesn't give a fuck about them? What's funny about black people being hurt more because you elected a candidate that colludes with white supremacy? Endorsed by the KKK. What's funny about Spanish families being separated because you elected a candidate who calls the places that they come from garbage? Calls it a swamp when they come into our country? Doesn't give a fuck about people who weren't born here. Thinks that everybody else is trash and should be treated subhuman. What's funny about that? What is, what's, what's there to laugh about right now? You elected a felon to be president. Somebody proven to collude with foreign adversaries to overthrow democracy. Who incited a, ter a domestic terrorist attack on the country. What would be funny right now? What the fuck's funny? Don't say shit about nothing. Y'all are the reason we... Oh my God. I am fucking feral today. <laughs> feral. If you see me, keep walking. Do not make eye contact. Do not square it up at me. Don't act like you know me. Like, I want to eat... Like, maybe they voted for Kamala, but like, I want to eat them right now. Like, I want to take a bite out of those glutes in a bad way. I say we pass a law that requires anyone who voted for that orange piece of shit to wear their Trump hat 24-7. Because conservatives are dangerous for anyone who isn't white, Christian, or male completely dangerous like dynamite waiting to go off in your hand so I think we should all get a public service warning don't you hey there girlies well so from here on out we don't touch DL conservative men ever or any conservative or you don't care if they're DL or not actually unless it's necessary like really necessary fine other than that no more none zero and if you've been doing that anyways ew come on you know look you're better than that you're all better than that all right have a good day i'm done crying my sadness is over my anger has set in um i am a very petty person and i am very proud of that love it about myself actually and so I say this in the most disrespectful way possible. I don't care if you are my family. I don't care if you are my friend. I don't care if we've been friends our entire lives. You can literally go fuck yourself if you voted for Donald Trump. If you are so sad about your groceries being expensive, get a better fucking paying job. Do better in life. Get a fucking education. Do something. Because you are fucking stupid. And I hope you go jump off of a fucking bridge. Harris did not win. You won. Trump. <coughs> so, we're. I'm, Take a breath. Yep. Yeah. 
So today may look a little different at school. Okay, there are probably going to be friends who have questions, right? Um, I'm sure your teachers are going to... I think, you know, we currently are in a country where we get to choose, right? And people have different priorities. They have different values. Some people hear what he has to say and they don't believe him. And some people hear what he has to say and they believe him and they agree with him. So today's probably, it, your school day is probably going to look pretty normal. Okay. Your teachers are going to do a really great job of you know, if you have questions throughout the day or if you have big feelings throughout the day. Do you like these? I am sad. I'm very sad. And now you're crying. I'm done with the bullshit. I'm done. If you voted for Trump, I think you're a fucking loser. I think you're stupid. I think you're a moron. I think you're evil. I think that you deserve to die by my hands. Uh, more specifically, by the rake that's in my hand that I'm using as a bludgeon on your fucking skull. You fucking loser. I'm better than you. You're a horrible person. You don't deserve air. Fucking kill yourself before I get to you. Do it. Kill yourself right now. Reply. Reply with a video of you killing yourself. Fucking loser. I have decided that my personal revenge for this 2024 election fiasco is to be a menace to men on dating apps. I'm going to re-download probably, just, I guess, just Tinder and Hinge and match up every single man. Say I'm down for hookups. Give them my give them a Google voice number. Talk with them. Say, yeah, I'll come over. Yeah, I'm on my way. Yeah, I'm, I'm five minutes out. Uh, what do you mean? I'm here. Don't you see me? Guess what? I won't be there and I'm going to ruin your plans. Anytime you make plans with me, I will lie to you, stand you up, ghost you. I'm just going to be a menace because why not? Men don't like women. I'm going to start actively practicing misandry. And that's my personal goal for 2024.